My name is Ekaterina Kolesnikova, and this is my reflection, my persuasive speech about how everyone should exercise 30 minutes daily. A few main points I had chosen to cover for my audience um, was how exercise delays the development of diabetes, it improves overall cardiovascular health, and it can be an enjoyable transition. I felt that those were some that should have been added into the speech, so I made sure to do so. Exercise is really important to me, and this information is something that would benefit my audience and hopefully win them over, so that's why I chose that. Going into the speech, I was confident. I had accredited sources that I had made sure to cite. I was very professional. Um, I made sure to keep my volume and my rate steady and clear, which I think that really helped. I tried very hard on my pronunciation, which that also was a great benefit in my speech. Um, and some of that even added into my ethos. Now, some, something that I could have definitely fixed for my ethos specifically is my shirt. I know it was a little bright, but for my future speeches, I will make sure to not do that once again. Um, so overall, I mean, I think I did really well. I felt pretty, pretty positive going into my speech, and my audience really helped me. Some of the technology I used was just my laptop and my blue speaker. I know my laptop has a wider angle, so I chose that rather than a camera, and my speaker just helps to create my speech more clear for those who are watching my videos. Now, overall, the structure and organization of my speech, I felt very natural. I mean, I generally use my hands when talking, so it was kind of helpful. I know I may use them a little too much, but it's something that I'm definitely working on, and that's something that I could at least improve on a little bit. But overall, going from main point one, you know, step off to the right, use one finger, main point two, to the left, two fingers, and so on and so forth, that really helped me. And that made my speech much more fluid. What felt odd was using the citations. I generally, when I just normally speak, I don't use those, so I made sure to write them down in my note cards just so I can remember, and that really helped me. As I was developing my speech, I used something that I can connect to my audience since I've known them for so many years. Um, I, I made sure to mention kids, which can relate to the parents, and just overall workout habits, which could relate to my third audience, Michael. And I think that really helped to create that positive impact on them and also persuade them to fall more towards how important this exercise routine really is. Um, what really helped me also was I was reading chapter 14, specifically page 109. Um, it had mentioned about adapting to a neutral audience, which was my audience for this speech. And that really did help me to bring this information more to them because I could persuade them. Using those logos, I felt that I had a really strong advantage because what I was offering them is information that they already, already knew. It's just that they were not aware of, nor did, did they really bother to think of it until I had provided it to them. You could hear a lot of, oh, okay. And I had a couple of nods, which that made me feel even more confident throughout my entire speech. And it just had a really positive impact on me. And I think that did, really did persuade my audience over, though, was be able to, being able to connect with them and provide them information that they knew or at least they must have known a little bit about, but now they knew fully, especially if my sources that I had used to make sure that it was legitimate and accredited that provided that benefit of the ethos for me. Now, overall, um, I think my speech was really good. I know that I had a lot of advantages, and I had a really positive response from my audience. What worked for me is being able to connect with them. I think connecting to the audience is very important, keeping that eye contact, which also adds into the ethos. Um, I think the ethos and the logos are one of the most important parts going into the speech, and it really had benefited me. What didn't work so much is, again, probably my attire. I noticed that sometimes their eyes would kind of go to my shirt rather than my face, so for future speeches, I'm going to definitely change that. And that's probably something that I would improve on also, and maybe move my hands a little bit less. I knew that sometimes that they, those can be distracting too, and you don't want to distract your audience when you're working on a speech. But overall, I mean, even my signposts, I think they were pretty good, and I was really happy with my speech. I think I did very well, and hopefully, you know, those who have watched it also enjoyed it. But thank you very much. This is my reflection.